if you attend Christ Embassy, you are sending money to Nigeria. You attend Winner Chapel, you are sending money to Nigeria. You go to Jeliese program, you are sponsoring a Nigerian in the detriment of your own prophet in Ghana. Yeah. I don't hate him. I love the man. I love the young man. Came to Ghana and pulled over 100,000 crowd and took offerings and seed to his country. And I saw even the electoral commissioner who was the one who went to receive from the airport. How many, how many, how many, how many churches in Ghana? Every prophetic church. Nigerians are sorry, my dear Ah, uh, God bless you, people of God. This is what happens when we have lost appetite for prayers and we have lost appetite for studies. We we'll begin to fight ourselves. We we'll begin to speak ill of ourselves. We we'll begin to jealous ourselves for no cause. We we'll begin to have hatred and bitterness. We we'll begin to allow another man's success to give us hypertension when the god that gave that man success can still give us our own success we don't even know if the success of that man is a temporary success and god is cooking something better for you jealousy everywhere hatred bitterness anger the pastor is angry with another pastor for no just cost a pastor will fight another pastor at the back comes to the front and will begin to laugh with that pastor that's the wickedness that i've taken over the altar we have lost power and that is why we have given room for people to talk down on christianity and to talk down on men of god psalm 110 verse 3 the bible says the people shall be willing in the days of thy power so wherever there is power you cannot stop the people from going there so we must go back to the cross we must go back to the place of prayers go back to the place of study get focus on that which god has given to you and then you will see if the lord will not open the windows of heaven and pour you a blessing whatever god gives you at a particular time maintain and manage it he's capable of increasing it increasing your labor many a times it is not the crowd that comes to the church that matters it is the impact that you are able to make so dear pastors eh? dear ministers of god let's cut down on this hatred and bitterness here and there this nation with the other nation this pastor not talking with that pastor that pastor not talking that pastor accusing this past the other pastor accusing that pastor and then when we meet together we we'll begin to laugh with each other with so much wickedness in our hearts may god have mercy upon this generation the lord bless you i'm just a little child what do i have to say okay but i'm not a small boy like that though but i'm just a little child okay I just want to speak my mind because this is disheartening and this is not of God at all. Many a times, to avoid sorry, don't say things you don't supposed to say. It's not after you have finished saying it, you now say, how can you be ministering in the altar and you allow the flesh take hold of you? The flesh did not take hold of you for one second, but the flesh took hold of you for almost three minutes, breathing out hatred and bitterness. And then you come out and say it's just a mistake it's an error it's... let's forget about that that is exactly what was in your heart in in his heart okay the man of god that was what it was in his heart when he made that video okay he said what was in his mind and what is in the mind of many 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 other pastors may god have mercy upon us may god have mercy upon us i i just pray we should just be focused with what god has given us if you are an evangelist evangelize well you are a pastor pastor well you are a teacher teach well you are an apostle be a good one you are a prophet prophesy well just do what god has asked you to do and he will reward the labor of your hands listen many a times it's not in the crowd and in the thousands of people you see it is in the impact that you make so endeavor be focused enough to make an impact in this generation a kingdom that is divided against itself cannot stand and that is why as ministers of god whether you're from america you're from london from ghana from nigeria from ethiopia from asia from anywhere you come from we must unite together to 
bring down the kingdom of darkness and to populate heaven and stop breathing hate giving the people this idea that we are there for business that it is a business thing and all that it's all about money 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 oh my god i feel pain when my heart yearns we are yearning we are crying for impact wants to affect lives and affect destinies there are people there crying about offering coming from this nation to that nation god have mercy god bless you all look at how ghanaian members and ghanaian christians follow nigerian pastors and respect nigerian men of god and even ghanaian pastors that's what that's last week one of the young men in nigeria came to do prayer conference here on over fifty thousand people we're dead praying. Ghanaian, uh, Ghanaian too. Nigerians are very self-centered people. Very self-centered. They like their people, but not the Ghanaians. As if we don't have anointed men of God in this country. As if we don't let let a I'm tell, every prophet in Ghana is considered as fake. Every prophet, every anointed man of God. But go to Nigeria and go and hear stories they are talking about. Yet, we, we don't care about what they say about him. We, Ghanaians, we don't care about what they say about their man of God. Yet, we will go. But they still accept them because of that. Ghanaians have accepted them. Irrespective of whatever they are hearing. They don't care whatever anybody is saying about any man of God. They will still go. As long as it's from Nigeria, it's from God. They are closer to heaven than us. Go to Google and, and Google right now about information about men of God from Nigeria. And yet, Ghanaians will troop into their church. In the daytime, I'm talking about daytime service. When they come to Ghana, they don't do evening service. They start some of their program by 1 p.m. And crowd will gather there. They are going to pray. Because that man is the ladder to heaven. We, we are the broom. That's why we kill all our prophets. That's why we kill all our men of God. Let me tell you, there's no Nigerian church that can ever break through financially without a Ghanaian church supporting them. Winner's Chapel, the huge amount of money Winner's Chapel was taken from Ghana. Apart from their country, Nigeria, the country that was sponsoring Winner's Chapel was Ghana. Christ Embassy, Ah, go and see Ghanaian rich men who are in Christ. No Ghanaian millionaire will enter any prophetic church. But they will go to Christ Embassy, they will go to Winner's Chapel, they will go to Presbyterian Church, they will go to. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, sir. Let me tell you something. When we are talking about let us, let us let us enjoy our own, churches are also part of it. If you attend SDA church, it means you are sending money to America. If you attend Christ Embassy, you are sending money to Nigeria. You attend Winner Chapel. You are sending money to Nigeria. You go to Jeliese program. You are sponsoring a Nigerian in the detriment of your own prophet in Ghana. I don't hit him. I love the man. I love the young man. Came to Ghana and pulled over 100,000 crowd and took offerings and seed to his country. And I saw even the electoral commissioner who was the one who went to receive from the airport. How many, how many, how many, how many churches in Ghana? Every prophetic church. Marine, Nigerians are sorry, 